feature against Australia is, some say, the forgotten hero of England's victory in the 2005 Ashes. Ian Doverston went to meet him. Watch this. In he comes. Oh, he's struggling. He's out. He's the man who cracked the Aussies. Gary Pratt's dramatic intervention in England's Ashes win four years ago was a moment of instinctive brilliance. A substitute, he ran out Australia's captain, Ricky Ponting, and turned a game and arguably a series. It was a big thing at the time because um, obviously he was absolutely playing outstandingly well. Um, and just to get him out anywhere possible was, was the aim, really. Ponting was furious, venting his frustration as he departed the Trent Bridge pitch and fined almost £4,000 for the outburst. But he got over it and the two became friendly. Well, I wouldn't say best mates, but uh, on, t on talking terms. I just had a chat, had a beer in the dressing room after the test match at the Oval and he gave me a pair of boots and signed a photograph and he's a really nice guy. And In fact, he gave Pratt two pairs of boots. On the left, the ones he was wearing at the time of the famous run-out have been valued by an auctioneer recently at £10,000. And then there's the picture of Pratt and his teammates Ponting signed. Top flight cricket can be cruel. Down the years, the fortunes of Ashes heroes Kevin Peterson, deposed as captain, Andrew Flintoff, so frequently injured, and Marcus Triscothic, who has battled with clinical depression, have wavered. Pratt, still only 27, scaled the heights and rode that victory bus alongside those well-oiled Ashes luminaries, but subsequently left Durham for Minor Counties cricket with Cumbria and can be found these days doing net practice in Bishop Auckland. He has fond memories. Not a lot of the lads respect many people. And then the bus kind of went round the corner and it was absolutely mayhem. And just, just great for the nation. And got, got the nation hooked on, hooked on cricket, which is a great thing. He'll watch his old mates with interest this summer, in particular those key men, Peterson and Flintoff. I have no doubt that they'll perform because they, they love the big stage. Um, then you have the people like Harmson, who, who when he gets it right, is, is a world-class bowler. And if England are in need of an unlikely Ashes hero, he can still do it, you know. Yay! Ian Doverston, Sky News.